Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Junis. You're now tuned into the Star in You. Thank you for being here with me today. Like the page, subscribe, share with others so this channel can grow. Also, be on the lookout for my new webpage, which will be active soon, which will be called thestarinyou.com with a double R. Definitely can't wait to put my content on there and share with you guys. All right, so now we're going to begin. Let's go. Let's go. So today we're going to talk about Joe Buttons and DJ Academics. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Which they both co-star in the show um, Everyday Struggle, which is pretty much a morning show where they talk about like, the biggest topics and events on hip-hop and pop culture. So in the beginning of the show, um, when it premiered, it was pretty um, rocky a little bit uh, between the disputes about with um, DJ Academics and Joe Buttons. But the show is about disputing things amongst each other anyway. Talking about certain artists and giving their viewpoint on it. So that's kind of part of the show, but there are certain times where it seemed more personal, you know, and people thought like maybe the show wouldn't make it and it wouldn't last long, it wouldn't have no longevity because of that. So I kind of looked into it and I wanted to see for myself is that gonna happen or will think will the dust start to settle on anything and go back to normal, you know? Like based on their birthdays and see if they like go together. So we're gonna start off and see what's going on with the two and the dynamics. So Joe Buttons was born August 31st, 1980. That makes him a Virgo. He's an Earth sign. And DJ Academics, he was born May 17th, 1991. He's also an earth sign, but he's a Taurus. Earth signs are compatible with each other. Earth meaning, earth signs being Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. They're all compatible with each other. So you may say, damn, so why do they clash a lot? Well, they did in the beginning of the show, they clash a lot. That could be because of egotism mainly, you know. Joe Budden's been in the industry for a minute, since it, those eras when he was spitting freestyles of Fabulous and Paul Kane, you know, so. He's been in the game, he's seen a lot. Whereas DJ Academics, he's more of an outsider, you know. He's he's studious of hip hop though, you know, he studies it very well, he does his job consistently every every time. So, you know, he learns a lot. So certain things he may learn, he may just put it out there as as it being true and Joe Budden just may come out and just correct him because he's more passionate, he's been in the industry and also based on all his numbers, he shows that passion for hip hop and he has to come off and correct the situation so it may come off very fiery and that's all based on his numbers which we're gonna get into in a second him becoming off fiery so we're gonna begin with Joe Buttons he was born August 31st, 1980 that makes him an Ursa like we said earlier he's mutable Meaning that he knows how to change and adapt to his surroundings. Round, round, round. He's very um he has a lot of versatility, but at the same time, the flip side, he could be inconsistent because of this if he's not grounded. But luckily for him, he's an earth sign, and earth signs are naturally grounded. They're very consistent, they move very slowly. Think of them as like the the turtles of the of the signs, you know what I mean? Like they move at a slow pace, but at the end they always win. And that describes Earth Signs very well. Wow, wow, wow. And you can see the way Joe Buttons has moved, you know? He had like some hiccups here and there, but overall though, you know, he's been pretty consistent in his career. He dropped a lot of different projects. Lyrically, he's very consistent, always on point. Different patterns, word flows. And that has a lot also to do with him being mutable, because mutable are very changeable and have a lot of versatility. So they're very creative when they're rhyming. So they can change the pattern of the flows where it won't sound dull when they spit it. And also the way he um, transitions himself, not um, out of hip hop, but staying within hip hop. You know, he has a podcast and now he's doing everyday struggle with DJ Academics. But, you know, remaining consistent, keeping on the square and, you know, doing what he has to do and continuing to evolve at his pace and growing, which, like I said, well, in time, you're gonna see how that all comes together. Joe Buns being a Virgo, well, Virgos in general are pretty cool, calm, and collective, but they know how to express themselves very well when something comes up and they're not afraid to show it. And this is also because they're ruled by Mercury. Mercury also rules Gemini, and Gemini is the air sign. The air signs are communicate a lot and Mercury in general is about expression and communication and you can see that with like uh, Cat Williams he's a Virgo and how he talks about things on politics his perspective on politics and also Nas as well when he um, 
gets um, angry about certain situations or things don't go right, you go in a certain dimension and he'll just like tap it and just start going off. So they're not afraid to express themselves when it comes to that point. Even though they come up calm and cool, you know? And also too with Joe Buttons, right? He's not afraid to express himself, but with Joe Buttons, he comes up a lot more fiery. And there's plenty of reasons because of this. One reason is because, well, for me, in my opinion, it's a uh, personal opinion. It's because he's born in the 8th and not the 9th. Though he's a Virgo, and 8th is ruled by Leo, and Leo's a fire sign. And also, another reason is uh, because he's born on the 31st of August. And the 3 and the 1 are both ruled by fire as well. So... <laughs> Him being, uh, those numbers being ruled by fire and that eight is also ruled by Leah, which is the fire side. It kind of makes him very fiery in many ways and expresses that. And for Joe Buttons, he did have a dark past, and which I'm not going to get into, but he needed that fire. All those places, the three and the one, him being born under the Leo and not the Virgo, all that fire made him it transform because that's what fire is all about. It's all about, all about burning the old and bringing in the new, creating, you know, spark, bringing sparks to something new. And you see this now, Joe Budden in his life, how he's transitioning himself and he's evolving in a way, you know, very slowly still, right? Like an earth sign, moving slowly, subtly, but you see the you see the improvements in his life and how he's moving. It's a success. And also, when you add the three plus the one, it equals four in his birthday, right? And that four is ruled by air in numerology. Esoterically, the four represents like your inner being, like this inner self inside. Like you have like the four represents like the emperor. So you have like this vision to like build an empire, you know. So and you can see that four with uh, Jay Z, Russell Simmons, and P Diddy, just to name a few who are fours. And you can see what they're about. And it's bigger than just hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So for Joe Bunny, he's a 31 and not a four four. It adds up to four. So. With that being in mind, that three and that one plays a different role, whereas the four, it's more about building this infrastructure, building this empire, and showing it off in a way. But at the same time, a lot of fours are very subtle and quiet, and they walk around your everyday neighborhood, and they're millionaires, you don't even know about them. So it's two different dynamics, because it's still a feminine number, and with the female aspect of it, it's secretive in that way. Or it could be the other way as well. So... Number four is ruled by air, 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 and a three and one is ruled by fire. Fire, fire, fire. fire and air, they both complement each other very well, you know. There's no fire without air, or the fire would just be put out and suffocate. So with Joe Budden, this helps him out when he's expressing himself very well. Being that he's ru- um, he was born on the August and not um, September, 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 that helps him. And the way he communicates, he communicates very well and he can express himself very well, even though it comes up very fiery, and but it's going to still come up very clear. And everything with the Mercury, <laughs> ruled by Gemini, so everything is, in a way, very balanced in a way. Even though <laughs> people have problems with him with his attitude sometimes, but he's very clear-headed and very focused and very straightforward and concise with his words and what he means. Thank you for tuning in to the Star in You. Normally, I would jump into the life path number of Joe Buttons, but I'm gonna save that for part three. The next part, part two, will be about DJ Academics. Hope you guys like the show. Please subscribe, share with others. Thank you for being here with me once again. Remember, let your inner light shine.